I'm often asked, when is my airbag absolutely necessary? Well, I can tell you, your airbag is necessary if you are going 30 miles an hour or above and another vehicle is going 30 miles an hour and above and you collide front to front, your airbag better deploy because otherwise you're going to be seriously injured. However, I will tell you, even though airbags have been in vehicles since 1988, the biggest problem that I see today with regard to airbags in the front is they don't work. They do not deploy when they're supposed to. And when an airbag does not deploy in a high impact event, catastrophic injuries and deaths can occur. For example, in this particular accident right here, you can see that this is a very significant frontal impact. Now the reason it's important to focus on this particular accident is if you look at where the location of the accident is, you'll notice that only 30% of the front structure is impacted. Well, 30% of, uh, of, the, of the front structure has been engaged. However, when we go look at the airbag system itself, neither airbag deployed. And as a result, the occupants were killed. There is no, got to remember, the safety systems, some of the safety systems did their job. For example, look at the structure. The structure maintained the survival space for the occupant space. No damage whatsoever. The seat belts did their job. You'll notice there's no hair in the windshield when the, when the windshield was upright. There's no, there's no injurious contact marks to the instrument panel for the driver or the passenger. But what happened is, is the human body can only withstand so much load. That is the purpose of a front airbag. A lot of times I will tell you this, that we see, uh, we'll have people call us and say, my airbag, I got involved in a car accident in a parking lot and my airbag fired and my face now looks like it's got a rash. It's, it's stinging, it's burning. It almost looks like I hit a cactus. Well, guess what? In three or four days, that rash is going to go away. I'm only interested in airbags when they deploy and they cause catastrophic injuries or, they, or you're dead. Or more importantly, when an airbag should have fired and didn't fire, that's when people get seriously injured or killed.